Right now I'm standing in Sea Beans, our coffee boutique right off the lobby. This is a, a great place for locals to come and enjoy their morning coffee, read the paper. We have homemade pastries, Danish, gelato, there's sandwiches to go. Definitely a gathering place. Well, what we have behind me is called the Meadows, and yes, it's an ideal location for outdoor concerts. Uh, future planning includes doing a little concert, weekly concert series for both guests and residents and area um, visitors to enjoy. So people can come here, will they picnic and whatnot? Are you envisioning that? That's exactly what we're envisioning, where you, you picnic, we have a little outdoor bar set up, and there's a weekly, whether it's jazz or, or um, a local musician performing. Well, the one thing that we do have that's going to be a, a daily ritual is our singing of our quartz bowls, which signifies the end of the day going into evening. And there are these beautiful, huge quartz uh, crystal bowls that will be singing to signify that. So you'll get a, a demonstration of the singing bowls during our grand opening uh, this Friday. Right now, Wendy and I were standing in one of the three sheer water suites, 1,800 square feet, this is amazing. This isn't even, the presidential suite I think is what, 2,200 square feet? Yes, and uh, our presidential suite, Vanderlip, is right upstairs and that is 2,200 square feet. Of course, our viewers will see that on opening day on the 12th. We're gonna go up into that suite. But talk about this suite we're standing in. There's three of them and just sort of the amenities and what's here. Well, you have a full kitchen with a microwave, refrigerator, and dishwasher. Um, a balcony that stretches the, the length of the suite side view of the ocean as well and a one bedroom one bath um, with a dining area it's a, a truly spectacular um, location fun dining area seating area big flat screen on the wall over there is it is it one bedroom it is one bedroom um, with luxury linens uh, the canopy bed um, so yeah it's uh, very very luxurious definitely stop here when I saw this chocolate sauce being whipped up. I'm with a pastry chef named Perry and uh, he's going to share with us what's happening here today. Well, we're getting the basic start of the chocolate fondue. This is one of the desserts that's going to be to share in, my, in, uh, in one of the restaurants over here. So hopefully you can join us. Soon we're going to be opening all the restaurants. So it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of different desserts. Chocolate's one of my favorite ingredients. You can see you got a lot of it over here, right? <laughs> you can practically swim into it. it will dive right into it. I think you're the sweetest guy here. Um, but as pastry chef, what are some of the challenges and excitement for you to be part of the Terranea team? Well, I've been with DHNR, which is a corporate a company of Terranea, and for about 12 and a half years. And to open up uh, this magnitude of a resort, it's, uh, it's going to be quite a challenge, you know, to get to know all the different properties and uh, get to get the feel of the area, find out what, what the best products in the local area's market are, and then you utilize those ingredients and make it happen, you know, put it all together into wonderful desserts. I'm looking across from out this way and I see some what looks like about 50 pounds of butter over there. It doesn't get any better than that. Well, the size of this property, you have to make quantity, right? But. Uh, we try to utilize the best ingredients, the freshest ingredients, and uh, make it work. In terms of this facility, this is this whole room is for, this is the kitchen for pastry? This is the pastry shop. The kitchen pastry shop supplies pretty much all the outlets in the, in the place, all the restaurants, the room service, you name it. We make it happen right here, fresh. What's your favorite dessert? My favorite dessert is a caramel cheesecake creme brulee and a chocolate decadent tort. So one or the other, it's, it goes, you can't go wrong. It, you know, either chocolate or you go the other way around. Caramel cheesecake, it's a bocce cookie crust with a caramel cheesecake layer with a custard of the, of the vanilla, then brulee over the top, served with fresh berries, perfect. 
I haven't had lunch. We're just going to go right to dessert. How about that? Perfetto in Italiano. Sì. Buonissimo. Buonissimo. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> right, Todd and I are walking along this amazing trail along the ocean. And of course, as you come along, then you see it all here happening behind us. Talk about what, what we're looking at. We can see the restaurant, the spa, and all that. Well, behind us, you'll see uh, some really great uh, venues we have here on site. Uh, Nelson's, Nelson's Bar named after uh, the character from Sea Hunt, Mike Nelson, uh, portrayed by Lloyd Bridges. Uh, adjacent to that uh, is the spa and fitness area. Uh, the small building, the single story building you see there is the fitness building with the spa building behind that. Uh, Junior Olympic pool, it's the, uh, the filling between the two buildings. A phenomenal place, perched right on the edge of the cliffs. Uh, unparalleled uh, any other resort that you'll find uh, definitely within Southern California. Just the way this whole the landscape has come together here, are you really pleased and, and has it exceeded your expectations? Yeah, I think uh, it has. You know, in a lot of ways, it's exceeded my, my exceeded my expectations. One of the challenges we had was trying to 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 have the the native plant material uh, mesh with the the more ornamental plant material around the hotel, and I think that. That kind of rough and refined tension that that that's been been created uh, is actually uh, been a real victory for us, and uh, it really tells a great story about almost metaphorically about the peninsula. All right, Wendy and I have just stopped off at Nelson's Restaurant, Oceanside. This is unbelievable, and you've already said this will be your favorite place to come to. How come? Just the atmosphere, very casual. Um, the menu will include regional favorites. They've got microbrewed beer on tap, the fire pits. I mean, look at the view. Yeah, this is definitely going to be my favorite location. Best place to hang out, a lot happening. You said it's got a really good vibe. It does have a really good vibe. Again, the casual atmosphere with an, uh, an unbelievable view. I mean, I believe one writer, uh, writer quoted saying that the view is so close that guests would possibly need gills. <laughs> Glad we found where your favorite spot will be. And as we walked in, of course, you guys are just, everything's coming together with the grand opening schedules in just days. This is really going to be all set up. People will eat here on the 12th. Is that right? Yes, all of our restaurants and our spa will be open on the 12th. It is a frenzy time in these last few days. We're putting the finishing touches on all of our training. We have a huge staff rally on Thursday afternoon, our final day of training, where we bring everyone together, have some applause and toast to our opening. On Friday, we'll have some special events in the morning and then open to the public at 3. And we're so excited to show off what we have here. We'll be doing public tours at 3 four, five, and six. We'll have some music and some light refreshments, and we're just very excited about it. words can't describe the beauty and the excitement here at Terranea. I think I found one of my favorite spots to hang out and catch an ocean view right here on the terrace right outside the main lobby. Come on down. It is absolutely amazing. That'll do it for this edition of Community Connection on Location. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. See you next time and I hope to see you right here at Terranea. Bye-bye. Thank you.